Well, we're very fortunate to have with us Helle Wiebeke Carstensen, who's the Innovation Manager in the Danish Ministry of Taxation. Um, Helle Wiebeke, I have to ask you, we don't normally think of the public sector, least of all the Ministry of Taxation, as being a powerhouse for innovation. Can you tell us a bit about what you do, what you're trying to do, the kinds of innovations you've made happen? Yeah, I would like to. Uh, normally it's very scary to think of innovation <laughs> in the Ministry of Taxation because you think that we figure out new taxes and actually that's not what we're doing. We're trying to make uh, the tax system better, making it more easy for the taxpayers to pay their taxes and we do that together with the taxpayers. We do it with the citizens and we do it with the companies. So what we're trying to do is to figure out the ways to make stuff easier to understand, to figure out how do you do your tax returns or tax assessments and how do we make tax policy easier to understand so we have a high degree of uh, legitism. We have four bottom lines uh, in innovation. We make it cheaper mm -hmm. because we have to save a lot of money in the Ministry of Taxation mm -hmm. uh, and we make services better and we try to make what the legislation wants us to do, the politician, so we have to fulfill their wishes uh, the first time instead of retrying all the time. And then the final one is uh, uh, securing democracy to secure that uh, people pay the taxes they shall, but no more than they shall. So that's uh, four very important innovation bottom lines, which we measure all in uh, all our uh, development initiatives against. So, uh, and we'll be doing that for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. The difficulties, of course, is some time of measuring. It's yeah. very easy to measure how much money do you save or how mm -hmm. heavy are people with the services you make. Mm -hmm. But to measure the effect of uh, the policy, that take, that's a long-term goal. So mm -hmm. we're still struggling about getting the right mm -hmm. assessment for that and the uh, outcome measurement for that. Mm -hmm. So that's... Uh, about that's, it. I that's think. a yeah. pretty impressive uh, range of things. Could you give us a couple of examples of specific innovations that you've brought through in this framework? Yes, uh, one of the recent ones we just made is uh, the Parliament just uh, agreed on, uh, on a new deduction in, um, for services done in, in housing mm -hmm. or uh, in gardens and they wanted it to be very easy for the citizen to get this deduction. So what we did was to get uh, some citizens to draw on the back of an envelope, what is an easy solution for you? How do you want to do it? And then we refine this solution together with the citizens to find out uh, the best and the easiest way. And actually, we took that. Uh, 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 we made like four prototypes uh, of the solution before we handed it over to the IT experts to do the actual solution. And then we are going to test it again and then it's going to be launched here in, in November. And we hope it's, it's going to be a very easy uh, solution for the citizen to use. And this way about involving the citizens and co-creation with the citizens makes very much sense and they come up with solutions we would not have come up with ourselves. Um, one of them is uh, doing uh, the deduction uh, in, in the banking system, in the net banking system. Mm -hmm. So we combine paying the bill and getting your deduction in one single mm -hmm. movement, so yeah. with one transaction. So that is one of the solutions um, or tasks that we did. Another one could be uh, uh, trying to get uh, our letters more. We have 7,000 standard letters we're sending out to the mm -hmm. citizens. And then we see, can they understand what it is? Hmm. And we actually can make substantial innovation by uh, and saving a lot of money by making a letter um, more understandable. So we try to uh, uh, use art and made, uh, had mm -hmm. a lot of citizens come in and do uh, different uh, uh, kinds of pieces of art. They had their own expression. Hmm. Of how did they conceive the letter that we? Uh, gave them, which was about real estate assessment, uh, and through the dialogue with the citizen, we figured out what we actually sent of messages to the citizens and what they were understanding. And then, then in the workshop, we worked together on how actually should we be able to communicate this letter um, and, and the message that we wanted. So it was in respect for what they thought, and they were able to understand. So. 
So there's very much a, a user co-creation, a, a partnership. Um, you've often used this phrase, moving from a control to a service function within yes. taxation. What are the problems in making this happen? Because it's a great idea, and as a citizen I like that, but what are the difficulties in making these innovations happen? The greatest difficulty is to get uh, one's colleagues to see the possibility in what the citizen actually can offer. Mm. Uh, because as a bureaucrat, we think we know it all, <laughs> uh, and we, we have all the information, we have the knowledge, we are the best of thinking of taxes, mm. and uh, that's why we do the best solutions. So to, to open the minds of our colleagues has actually been one of the great uh, barriers uh, which uh, have um, demanded that top management mm. was behind us and said we want to do this, we want a more holistic mm. thinking of the way we do taxes, the way we administrate them. And uh, then of course we have to train people, we have to build in a lot of uh, incentives of the taxation so, or innovation so they do this um, together with us. So that's, uh, that's some of the barriers but there have been many but culture shift and yeah. working a long time with these things has been very important. Fascinating. Yeah. So. Well, you were obviously working very much as a, a successful innovation manager despite some of these big challenges you face. Um, if I were to ask you to, from your own experience, identify some of the key lessons. What advice might you give somebody who's just been given the job of innovation manager in their organization? Oh, be brave. Be brave. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. And a lot of patience because it takes time to change um, a, the culture of an um, organization. Um, so there's some part of just doing it, not just trying to be able to control all of it or, or mm be able to see all the way through. Just start on what you can do and start on the small things doing this and then uh, getting value back to the business. Uh, showing your colleagues, showing your boss that it matters, mm. that it creates value for the organization to take in the views of the citizens and the companies. Mm. Uh, and then actually what we have experienced is demand is rising for the things that we can do. Mm -hmm. People come and tell us, oh please can you teach us, can you help us with this. Um, so from, from being the one who is going to, to, uh, to ask people to work together with us, now we have to say, ah, boo, we can do that <laughs> next year maybe. So, Great, yeah. so getting started I think is the most important. Yeah. And then of course you have to be able to um, get people educated. So you have to figure out and have a very clear language about what you're doing and then getting people educated, getting the incentive structure in the, in the company um, to fit in with will. If you pay people to do what they used to do, then innovation gets